Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Heroes of the Storm. Today I'm going to be showing you a build for this guy right here. It's going to be a Nuva Rock, one of the actual more popular tanks right now. And we're going to go over the reason why. I'm going to be talking about the abilities as well. I'm going to be talking about the talent build, obviously. Um, the actual skill that is required to play this guy and just some general tips and tricks. All while giving commentary and playing at the same time. So wish me luck. Um... But the very first talent we're going to be going for is going to be Assault Scarab. I'll just go for mid then. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, should be okay. So, let's first off go over why this guy is all of a sudden popular. Well, first off, we saw a couple of minor nerfs to some of the main tanks. And all of a sudden, you know, they were not as strong anymore as, you know, as they were in the past. However... On top of that, uh, on top of just the nerf, they actually buffed this guy significantly. And there's not like a damage increase or anything that really happened. Basically, what did happen is that the Beto AI, which are these little guys that you see everywhere, like those guys right there, um, they will basically be a lot smarter right now. Whereas in the past, you would see them, you know, be used kind of inefficiently and they would just sort of waddle around or go for a lane where nobody else was and they would just be really silly. Right now, they will actually prioritize heroes and all that. So with that comes the natural ability for this guy to all of a sudden top the damage meters, especially with the beetle build. Now, what may the beetle build mean? Uh, as you may have already guessed, we're going to be focusing on uh, getting as many of these beetle guys out as we possibly can. That's the basic idea and that's what we're looking for. Now, on top of that, besides just the beetles getting an AI improval, um, the E ability and the Q ability that I got, that I will go over in a second as well, uh, did get a significant overhaul too. So right now they are just simply a lot more responsive than they were in the past. Um, and that basically allows this guy to be one of the more popular uh, one of the more popular tank choices, especially in combination with like Muradin and Tyrael and all these kind of things. So yeah, very very strong hero. He's sort of like an off tank, he's definitely not a main tank. Um, he does have a lot of strength to him, but there's, there's some things about him that, that are kind of scary, and we'll go over that in a second. So first off, the abilities that I got. Every single time I spawn, or any, every single time I, I like hit any button, so my Q, W, or E, um, I will be spawning one of the scarabs. And the scarabs are the beetles, uh, the little guys that are moving around. So I basically try, you know, and have like as many of these guys out as possible at all times, because I know I will deal more damage that way. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to do is hit my W as often as possible and what that does we'll see in a second. Uh, but I'm trying to just sort of get these beetles out because they will increase my damage um, significantly. Now I'm actually going to be solo here for a second. Do want to save these gems real quick. There we go. Gotta get out of there. So my Q ability is going to be in pale. Basically what it happens is like a line forward that takes a lot of damage and they will also be stunned most importantly. Next time we're going to go for is Legion of Beetles. Um... But yeah, that, that's basically what that one does. So you can see right there, it, you know, basically makes everything a little bit easier to control. And you can chase people down there running away. But in team fights, obviously, you're going to be able to interrupt and stun pretty much everyone that is going to be, uh, you know, trying to cast stuff, pretty much. On top of that, we have the W ability. W ability is the shield that I activate every now and then. Um, I'm trying to activate it a little bit more often, but since I'm giving commentary and whatnot at the same time, it's kind of tough, but uh, it's basically a, a self-shield, so I can use that exactly like that as well. Now we have the E ability, where basically I go underground, and I um, come up at some later point, and once again, I will stun with that, and I will also deal damage with that. So my E ability can be used mainly as a retreat, but also as an offensive tool. Q ability as mainly a stun, but also for some damage. And a W is just mainly used uh, for, you know, spawning these guys. <laughs> spawning the little uh, the little scarab guys. But on top of that also... Actually, I could have killed... Um, I could have killed uh, Gaslow right there. Well, I guess it was an okay choice to not do that. Uh, but also to spawn those uh, beetles. And uh, to get the armor. Don't die, Loco! Ugh! I'll just go back real quick. Um, so yeah, that is that is a basic overview of uh, of what this guy is capable of. Now, the one thing to note is that while this guy is classified as a warrior, his damage is actually significant, or his his damage is significantly higher. Um, but he is uh, amount of health is lower than any of the other guys. Uh, his health is just simply you know worse. He doesn't have as much. He dies a lot faster as well. And on top of that. You know, we, we might actually be able to just kill him down, uh, or hit him down right here. Uh, but on top of that, you know, we do have some extra damage to make up for that. So that sort of makes this guy... Oh, we did get a kill. That sort of makes this guy the ideal off tank, and we're trying to use him as such. 
Um, you would usually not play him as, or you would usually not play him as like the main guy. Uh, simply because he's not very good at tanking so much damage because his health is kind of low. So we're gonna go for Leeching Scarabs next, which will allow me to get some healing. Uh, get all lanes, please. We really need the lanes. It's kind of unfortunate they're gonna be getting the first ones. I really haven't been focusing much on the positioning and all that sort of stuff, but doesn't really matter. We should be we should be in a uh, okay position at the very least. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it looked like we found a Nova as well. Didn't even see her. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, so there you see my Beatles. They're actually, you know, target firing down the um, the heroes first. More than anything. Which is very nice. Um, now, the first talent we picked are going to be the Leeching Scarabs, the Legion of Beatles, and then also the, uh, what's it called? Assault, or Assault Scarab. Um, the obvious reason is that we are focusing on the Beatles mainly, and I would say these guys are... Mandatory pretty much every single time nice little pickup right there once more um, But yeah, there's a couple of different builds going around But if you're gonna be focusing on a beetle focus build, I mean if you're gonna be focusing on the beetles mainly um, This this is really an obvious choice. I would not go for anything else Now at level 10 13 and 16 is where we can make some substantial changes to this and uh, We'll go over that once it actually is here uh, But the first couple talents definitely are pretty much you know, a one-trick sort of pony. Not not really much to change up right there. Uh, so like I mentioned, in this specific game, we do have an artist, but normally you would play him with like a, a Muradin or a Terio or something like that, just, you know, to complement this guy. Now, I gotta be careful. I do have uh, a bunch of gems on me, and I actually got enough for the turn in here. So I'm gonna try and turn in. I'm gonna try and turn in here if I can. Can I get some help, boys? No help, Reno. It actually went off faster than I anticipated. Well, I guess my teammates are, are uh, turning in at the top, so it should be okay. I'll just grab some more. Okay, so my wet beavers are coming right now. Sweet. So very shortly, we will head level 10, at which point we'll go over the heroic abilities that I got. In short, I got two very, very potent ones. Um, not a very good time for me to go back, honestly, but... Ooh, sadly, the artist is... Oh, he's already back. Um, but yeah, so the basic first one, I guess we'll just talk about that right now. The basic first one is going to be Locust Swarm. That should be your go-to talent in most games, especially if you're not sure which one to go for. Uh, but Web Blast is going to be very useful as well. Now, what exactly does Locust Swarm do, which is also what we're going for as an example in this game? Um, basically what it does is, um, heal me up whenever anything is happening. So it, it heals me up significantly, um, whenever, you know, I am, uh, having enemies around me. But on top of that, it also actually does some extra damage, so it's nice. Uh, we're gonna go for Locust Swarm right here. I'm actually gonna activate it immediately. So right now you can see all of these Locusts around me. And I, you know, I don't really lose any health right now. It's very nice. Not really hitting my impel as much as I'd like to, but... Okay, we need to get out of here. They're very close to level 10 themselves. Unless we're gonna fight. I mean, if we're gonna fight, I'm, I'm gonna fight. <laughs> oh, very close right there. Oh, the motor shot! Oh, no hungering arrow either. Okay, yeah, this back. You should really be careful, though. I'm not a big fan of this sort of pushing. Because, I mean, this is really, like, not our terrain. If it could back, that'd be great. <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh! my god. This is exactly what I was talking about. Not sure why we're overextending. It's really not worth. Okay, well, I did get a kill right there. Which is fair enough. I got 24 gems, though. If we can, go back. Oh god. No, guys. No. No, Loco, no! <gasps> no, 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 no. Don't go down with 24 of these things. Oh, I'm really sorry, team. But I, I called for retreat 100 times and... Didn't really get any. I do have 36 of these things, though. So that's quite nice. <laughs> I guess I'll just turn them in, then. <laughs> Close enough. Um, so at level 13, we have a couple different options. First off, the main thing that we need to decide is if we want to go for more damage or for more... Um, for more uh, beetle focus or if we want to be focusing more on um, staying tanky. Now, in most situations, once again, if you're unsure, I would recommend staying tanky. Tanky is always good. You can't really go wrong with it. And... 
that means that you will just stay alive longer and therefore you will do more damage. Now, in some situations, you may want to change it up. Oh, there we go. She dead for sure. Cool. But we'll see that in a we'll see that in a second. In general, you want to try once again if you're unsure to use your E ability as defensive as possible. Even though it's incredible offensive, um, I I would highly recommend I would actually turn in right now. Um, I, I would highly recommend using the E ability and saving the E ability uh, for a while because the cooldown on it is actually quite substantial. You want to try and, um, you know, have that one up as often as possible. Okay, well, here we go. Guess we're going to be attacking. Not an ideal fight. I mean, I'm not really tanking any of the damage here. This guy's almost down, guys! Oh, shit. Okay, well. Dude, get out. Get out. I'm watching you. Okay, we're gonna overgo for Chitinous Plating. I would say that is your go-to strategy most often. Okay, gotta be a little bit careful here, but I know that the Web Weavers are dealing damage right now, so taking a fight, and as long as it's like, you know, something where we don't die, is actually in our favor. And sadly, my teammates keep dying over and over again. Uh, obviously, dying would be your top priority to not do. Um, so yeah, I went for the Chitinous Plating. Now let's say I really want to be focusing on some more damage. I could be going for the Burning Rage. Let's say I want to be going on uh, for more uh, of my Beetle Focus, which is also a great option. You can go for Symbiotic Armor, which will basically give um, your Beetles an armor as well whenever you activate the W ability. But yeah, Chitinous Plating, it's great. Same actually goes for level 16. At level 16 we can go for Blood for Blood, which is some damage and some health steal. We can go for Beetle Juice as well, which is not that common. Uh, but still very powerful as well. But I think your go-to talent, especially if you're unsure, would be Imposing Presence. Very, very powerful. And you don't really need to do very much for it. You can just sort of sit around and, you know, eventually it will um, it will do damage. It basically slows everyone's attacks uh, by 50%. But I think we may end up going for Blood for Blood in this specific game. Don't die, please. Guys, we need some help. We need some help here. Oh, come on. Artis is not even here. Artis is not even remotely close. Artist, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. I literally cannot do anything here. Artist is... Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I am playing on the open beta, as you may have realized. Uh, I've been playing mainly quick match. Uh, or I've been playing mainly... Um... Really? I've been playing mainly um, Hero League, which makes this skill level not as high. <laughs> Oh, man. okay. Apparently my teammate gotta go, which is unfortunate for him. That's okay, though. Oh. So, looks like we're gonna be left with no one else in the... In the <laughs> looks like we're gonna be left with one bot. Oh, God. I hope he will be able to stick around until the end of this game. That would be great, but... Whoop. Either way, as you can notice, by the way, I haven't mentioned it yet. You can use that E ability under the ground as well, so you can tunnel through things. And that is obviously, once again, used defensively as well as offensively. And it, it can be very, very powerful if used correctly. Um, especially if you know, like, sort of like the the amount of distance that enemies cover in a certain amount of time by the time you actually land up there. So it's going to take a couple games to get the hang of that. Now we're going to go for Blood for Blood here. Blood for Blood, great, great talent. I would highly recommend it if you're not sure what what's up. Imposing Presence, also very, very good um, if you're going to be the solo, like the main tank, I suppose. Um, as of right now, though, we aren't really having that. I'll just uh, make sure that, like, Brightwing stays with me. Um, but, um, yeah, even though we don't really have that in this game, um, you know, if, if you're gonna be the only tank, go for Imposing Presence. If you have an off tank as well, like a Muradin, like an Artist, I suppose, in this game, uh, go for Blood for Blood. Very, very powerful. But I don't think you can go wrong with Imposing Will. Okay, we really need to get out of here. Get out of here, boys. Well, unless this guy is just gonna stand out in the open. I'll take it. Fair enough. Uh, the uh, cooldown on my... Um, the cooldown on my ult is very long, by the way. It's 100 seconds. That is a significant amount of time. Not as uh, not as low as you would um, see with, fro with some of the other heroes in the game. I mean... I've been playing a lot of Kill Thus before this guy, and Kill Thus' ult seemed to be off cooldown every two seconds. Um, and yeah, 100 seconds is a very long amount of time for a uh, heroic ability. Um, so yeah, just uh, just use it carefully. 
and use it in the team fights. That seems to be the case in uh, in most uh, most of the time, at least. You can use it every team fight. Gonna drink from the fountain real quick and then come over. <clears throat> All right. So so far, as you can see, like the hero damage is pretty high up. We're actually on par with a Sagara and a Vala right there. Uh, and there's been plenty of games where I've basically been topping the ha the damage meters, um, you know, by by simply um, by simply um, focusing on this exact build right here. So he's gonna be going down. Oh come on! Good. Now this is this is a little unfortunate for us. Not a good position, that's for sure. Okay, so we are definitely fighting right now. Though Brightwing decided to teleport in, Boltwing that is. <laughs> This is the real one. Oh, come on. Didn't quite get it. Come on! Oh, God. I do have my tunnel in a second. I know she's here. Where is she? Oh, wow. Why did she... Sh what? Oh, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> Could barely not see her. Okay, I'll just go back real quick. Uh, get some more mana going. Actually, I'll just turn in real quick. We should be able to uh, turn in for free right now. Arthas. Oh, actually, we got plenty. Just me and Vala right there. Alright, so, so far, so good. But yeah, so, shortly, or like a short answer, I suppose, about Anubarak. Anubarak, very powerful, not so much of a warrior, but still relatively tanky. Can dish out a lot of damage if left, uh, if left alone, especially when the heroic ability comes into play. Now, you may have actually noticed, by the way, that I do have the Scarab host right there, which is coming from uh, one of my early game talents. Um, it's basically mainly um, it, it's basically an option for me to toggle off the automatic spawn. But since we are playing a game, you know, and I'm recording and playing at the same time, it's a little bit too much to focus on. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, control it if you can. Just push. <clears throat> well, unless um, Gaslow really wants to go down like this. Okay. Very nice. Do have another 16, uh, 16 of the guys right now. Okay, activating my ult once more. Okay. He really can't do very much against me, though. <laughs> Look at the amount of healing I get from my ult. It's insane. All right, what we're going for is rewind. Now, the simple reason for rewind at level 20, I would say that's pretty much a go-to talent every time, is that we can activate rewind and therefore get more scarabs. Scarabs are great. We can get more low guys, and low guys do a lot of damage. And, you know, with that, you basically just have no real good reason not to go for it. Uh, you could go for Hardened Shield and Hive Master as well. Technically speaking, those are good options, but... Yeah, rewind, you know, 60 second cooldown, incredible amounts of beetles you can spawn. I'll just activate it right now, actually, no reason not to. Especially if we can get a free kill on it. Yeah, so look at the amount of beetles that I got spawned right now. I mean, it's pretty good. No, no reason to, um, to overdo it, just go back. Just back. Well, I actually want to have her with me, but... <laughs> uh, boss after team fight. Much safer. Okay. So far, uh, Bolt Wing is doing quite well. Okay. All good. Uh, we don't have anything anymore, and well... I didn't actually realize that Vala was taking this much damage from it, but... <laughs> uh, one thing to note as well about Anubarak, you can actually easily, most of the time, solo these kind of camps. Especially if you just use your E to get into battle, and then like, hit the Q ability once and the W ability on cooldown. You can, uh, you can catch it most of the time. Oh my god, the burst damage is insane. Oh, I don't have any more mana here. Now I do. Can we get him? <laughs> I'm just leading the charge right here. Which is uh, which is exactly what, <laughs> what I guess a new Iraq is all about. Leading the charge. Now I don't want to go down. I do not want to go down. Going down is the worst thing that can happen in the game. You never want to die if you don't have to. 
If you can avoid it at all costs, avoid dying. There's pretty much never a good reason until you are like unless you're Tyrael and you're really like on a great ass position. But usually you want to try and stay alive. Dang it. But yeah. We should really get back though. Okay. Good job. Good job. Very, very well done right there. God, why did they stay around? We went back beautifully and then Artis was like, nope. I'll just go back. I'll, I'll just like stay around. Well, unless he's gonna be solo in here, I suppose. Come on, man. You had like the beautiful way to escape. Oh well, that happens, I suppose. Every now and then. Now, to be fair, um, I've played with much worse teams, much much worse teams, especially in the uh, the open <laughs> in the open beta. Uh, there seem to be a lot of new players in the game right now, which is totally cool, obviously. Very cool to see that so many people are joining in, but it is pretty obvious that some players have just simply not, you know, played the game very much yet. But yeah, you can see right here, right? The um, the beetles tank a lot of damage, do a lot of damage here as well, and I'm really not getting hit at all. Wait for teammates, then stick together as all five. Should be our best bet. We should be careful, though. Don't go boss until we win a team fight. It's too risky. We really shouldn't be going boss. Oh god, they're there. I didn't think so because Stitches was bot. I saw him at the bot lane. Okay, go, 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 go. We can go in here, that's fine. Now, sadly. Oh god. The damage, boys! It's coming in! Well, that's a 27 skull. or a 27. Oh my god, he's back at full health as well. That's a 27. Uh, or 29 by now. Stitches. Brightwing, get the heck out of the way. Actually, just just take the bulls. Oh, come here, come here. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna be the designated tank right now for this uh, for this thing. <clears throat> we do have three alive right now. They only have two alive, of which one is Nova. Nova really not made for this sort of stuff. I mean, I guess you can try and pick someone off, but she doesn't have a void prism. Just far enough. She's nearby though. She's nearby. Just hit the boss, dude. Just hit the boss. I don't want to leave. If I leave, obviously this guy is, you know, gone. Come on, help! Help, 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 help! <laughs> help, please! Someone! <laughs> okay. Well, they are all alive right now. I don't like this, man. Why, why does this take so long? Okay, quick. They are so incredibly close. <laughs> so incredibly close. Alright, I'll just drink from the fountain real fast and get back into the battle. This game is turning out to be quite epic. I think it may have been easier though if you had a person playing Brightwing. But, um, yeah. Oh god, don't go down. Don't go down. Oh man, I went down. I broke my primary rule of never dying. Dying is the worst thing that we can do. Now, anyways. So far, we've been topping both damage and siege, um, or hero damage and siege for our team. And we actually also have a whole bunch of XP contribution. Obviously, this is not a good, like, measure of skill, but it just shows you the potential of this guy, mostly. Like, there is... There are, there are only so many things in the game that, you know, are really important, and I would say this is... Um, this is just a little showcase, I suppose, of what this guy is really capable of, if played reasonably well. Now, I know for a fact that there are a lot of different things that can be going... Dude, did you just really miss your multi-shot? But I know for a fact there's gonna be so many other things that you can do as well. Dude, get your multi-shot in there! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but anyways, in the meantime, the boss decided to hammer away at the core. Let's have a quick look at the final score screen as well, so... Um, you know, we can have a, 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 you know, sort of a recap about what exactly happened. As always, by the way, I don't think I've mentioned that yet. Um, the actual build that I played in this game... 
uh, will be right below that like button in the description of this video as well, so you can go ahead and have a look right there. So in the end, we did 170,000 siege damage, 51,000 hero damage, 22 takedowns, and 1 death. So as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section of the video. If you have anything whatsoever, let me know right there as well. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button because you will be the very first one to get a notification when I upload another video. And I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.